introducing dogs to each other. So whether this is the first time these dogs are meeting or maybe they've met before and they just aren't quite getting along, but they're gonna coexist together, it's going to be the same basic setup. Before you move forward with this video, you have to have to have to have your dog under control on a leash. So if you don't have that portion done yet, you need to do that first. Watch the leash reactivity video learn how to control your dog on a leash, how to give it some corrections and some feedback before you move forward with introducing your dogs. It's not gonna work if you don't have that part done because we're gonna use a leash and collar throughout this whole setup. So if you've got that part done, let's get going. So for the sake of this video, we're just gonna assume you're working with two dogs. If it's more than two, it's the same setup. One dog will be in a crate and the other dog, here's some pronto, will be on a leash and prong collar. All I'm looking for is for them to sniff through the kennel and just be neutral and let it go. They're allowed to say hi to each other. What they're not allowed to do is bark, growl, or get ornery. Any of those behaviors that are gonna let me know if I open that kennel door, we're not gonna have a good time. So the leash and prong collar is for me to give this dog outside of the crate feedback. If this dog that's not in the crate decides to get maybe a little hairy, a little ornery, starts to growl, I'm gonna quickly, with a quick correction, pop on this leash, I'm gonna quickly let him know that is absolutely not acceptable, not at all. So I'm gonna give him feedback. The dog in the kennel, if she, I don't have any tools on her, I don't have a prong collar, I don't have a remote collar, those are things to do, but I'm trying to keep this video super basic, those are just more advanced protocols. So if the dog in the kennel starts to growl or lunge or do any of those behaviors that I absolutely do not allow, I'm gonna use my voice and I'm gonna pop the top of that crate. I'm just gonna smack my hand on it. All that's gonna do is startle her out of her state of mind and then I'm gonna tell her that's not allowed, you can't do that. But what you can do is just lay there and hang out and be neutral. Same thing with this dog. You can go say hi, but if you do decide to do anything other than that, I'm just gonna grab the leash give you a correction, let you know that's not allowed. I do that for two weeks. Two weeks I rotate dogs before I ever move forward with it. After two weeks, if these dogs are just being neutral with each other when they're in the crate and I'm not having any issues, nobody's growling, they just kind of live, they exist together, then I introduce the walk. Then I start walking them together. That's how I really know if things are gonna go okay. So that's the next step. Now you're gonna introduce outside. So you've already done the inside introductions, whether that was through the crate or the baby gate. We're gonna do on leash introductions and your dog must be well worked on a leash. So if your dog is still reactive, watch the leash reactivity video, get your dog dialed in so they're at that perfect heel. And this is how you do the dog to dog introductions on a leash. All you're gonna do is one person walks in front, the other person walks behind and you're gonna let them literally sniff butts, one in front of the other. After you do that a couple times, your dogs should not be reacting. If they are, if they're growling, if they're doing anything inappropriate, you need to correct them on that leash. And again, if you haven't watched the leash reactivity video, that's very important. You must have that part dialed in before you do the introductions on a leash. Loose leashes, no tension whatsoever. If they're trying to get to each other, give them a correction, correct that behavior and start over. After you've done the sniff, the back and forth sniff with the dogs, now you can walk side by side. Again, if your dog is paying too much attention to the other dog, you give them the correction on the leash. When you get back into the house, after you've done the outside walk, your leash and collar stay on the dog. This is gonna be your tool to communicate through your dog to your dog as you're getting them used to the new boundaries. You guys, if this video was helpful for you, please share it, like it, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date.